this is Zist. Today we're going to look at the enhanced input system in Unreal Engine 5, and in particular how it's connected to Lyra's gameplay ability system. There are a couple of different ways that you can set up triggers for inputs, and how you use those in a gameplay ability varies, so we're going to look at some of the options and how that works. For this video I've made some basic project settings. In gameplay tags, I've created an input tag ability test. I also have an input action, which is set to consume input, and it's a boolean, so it's going to be either on or off based on the input. We have here input action test connected to the Z key on the keyboard, and initially the trigger is going to occur when this is pressed. The input action test is connected to the input tag test, and initially this input tag is going to be connected to this gameplay ability test. So this is the on pressed gameplay ability. This is very simple. In the class defaults, I have made no changes. This is just a default Lyra gameplay ability. In the key bindings, I'm using the pressed trigger to the Z key on the keyboard. Here's what this looks like. If I tap Z, activate, do stuff, end. Tap Z, activate, do stuff, end. Now if I hold down Z, still activate, do stuff, end. So there's no difference in this ability between a tap or between a press and a hold. In a while down ability, which also is default, no changes here, this is a Lyra gameplay ability. Here we have the trigger set to down, again on the Z key. And so when we run this one, if we just tap Z, it's basically the same as the previous one was, but if we hold Z, you see the ability didn't end. When I let go of Z now, it ends. So a tap works more or less the same as it did before, but a press and hold keeps the ability active until I let go of the Z key, and then the ability ends. In another configuration, there's an always active gameplay ability, which changes the activation policy to on spawn. That's the only change here, is that this ability will activate as soon as the player spawns. So this ability, when it activates, it's going to show a teal message saying it's been on. Then it's going to wait for an input press, show green, wait for a release, show orange, and loop. Green, orange, green, orange, green, orange. Anytime the ability, or anytime the key is down and has not yet been released, it's going to do stuff. So this is similar to the while down, which activates and then does stuff until release, except this one loops and loops and loops, it only activates once, and it just keeps looping. So if we play this, you see it activated immediately. Now if I tap Z, it looks more or less the same as it did before. Activate, do stuff, release. But if I hold down Z, it activates, it goes into do stuff, and it stays there until I release Z, and then it loops back around, waiting for me to press Z again. I hold Z, I release Z, hold, release, easy. Now you know the difference between a pressed trigger and a down trigger, and why it's good to use one or the other, depending on the circumstance. If this video doesn't suck, please like, subscribe, share it with somebody, whatever. See you next time.